Breaking news in Dane County. Residents in uh, Albion being told to stay indoors due to armed suspects in the area. We have the latest, including what led to that offer and order from officials. And breaking overnight, police are now investigating Madison's latest shooting as a homicide. And after a beautiful day yesterday, the uh, clouds have filled in and we've got a broad area of rain to the south and east. We are expecting some scattered showers later today. We'll track it for you coming up. All right, thanks for tuning in this morning, folks. On a Thursday to News 3 Now this morning, I'm Chris Stanford. And I'm Shane Hogan. A busy Thursday. We've got two breaking news stories that we've been following all morning long. We're going to have updates for you on those coming up. Also tracking some rain in the forecast. Kelly Slifka has been eye in this system for a few days. What are we in for today, Kelly? Yeah, you can see the uh, broad area of rain is well down to the south and east. Basically, once you get down towards Chicago, pretty widespread area of rain all the way down throughout the Ohio Valley. That part of the storm is going to miss us, but we do have another system coming in from the northwest mixing up with some of that moisture coming in from that southern storm that will likely bring us some scattered showers. We did have a couple of showers toward La Crosse uh, earlier this morning. See how those kind of fizzled as they headed toward Richland County and Adams and Juneau County. But we are starting to see some showers off to the west. Some of that will be skirting on in as we head through this afternoon. Nothing severe. You don't have to worry about that. But you probably will hear the tornado sirens or uh, go off at about 145 as they, they will test a tornado warning. We're under severe weather awareness week. It's this time of the year that we have to ramp up the uh, coverage of the potential of severe weather and they'll do a second test at 645 uh, the, later today. So it's just kind of a, a th thought process, process you want to go through when you hear one of these uh, uh, warnings come off on what you would do. Uh, figure out where your safe place would be if you get under one of those tornado warnings. Just some scattered showers this afternoon into tonight. It's going to be dry tomorrow, but also windy. We're expecting 70s, though, this weekend. 42 in Madison, Cottage Grove at 42, 45 currently in Stoughton. So a fairly mild start to the morning. We do have the clouds that are continuing to fill on in this morning. We'll get close to 60, I think, by the noon hour. Maybe a sprinkle or two, but I think most of the activity will hold off until 1, 2 o'clock. And then we're looking at some scattered, mainly light showers, maybe an embedded uh, brief downpour, but most of this will be uh, fairly light in nature. We've got that rain today and tonight. Then a fairly dry weather into the weekend. Then we'll ramp up those uh, chances of showers and storms going into uh, next week. All right, uh, temperatures right now at 42 with light winds. Uh, winds will be light this morning, but they will pick up later this afternoon into the evening. And we'll look at some wet weather today through tonight. We'll talk more about those rain chances and also the warm weather for the weekend coming up. All right, Kelly. Thank you. Now to our breaking news in Southern Dane County, where residents in the town of Albion are being asked to stay inside and lock their doors. At one point, we know that's what authorities were asking them to do. We're working to get some updated information from authorities and bring you that as soon as we can. We do know at one point that they were looking for two armed individuals after a standoff. Uh, sheriff's officials there say one of them has barricaded themselves inside of a home on Ramsey Road. That's the scene you're looking at here. They say a man with a rifle and a woman with a handgun were running from police at some point. And the police presence was so heavy, U.S. Route 51 was blocked in both directions near the interstate, though that road has since been cleared off and uh, we don't know of any backups in that area to report. We are expecting a news conference sometime this morning where we'll learn some more information about the incident. We also have a crew headed to the scene in Albion and we hope to hear from them shortly. Also new this morning, one person is dead after a shooting, which is now being investigated as a homicide. This happened outside an apartment complex on Northport Drive between Warner Park and the Dane County Regional Airport. Madison police say this was a targeted incident and have identified a person of interest, but no arrests have been made. With these major developing stories throughout our viewing area, make sure you download the free Channel 3000 mobile app. We will send you real-time updates to your phone. The man convicted of firebombing a Madison anti-abortion advocacy group's office will spend the next seven and a half years in prison. Rahindu Roy Chowdhury must also pay over $31,000 of restitution. Prosecutors say he set fire to the office suite of Wisconsin Family Action Mother's Day in 2022. Molotov cocktails were found inside the building. Roy Chowdhury was arrested just last year at Boston Logan's International, uh, Boston's Logan International Airport as he was about to travel to Guatemala on a one-way ticket. A judge in Waukesha will decide if one of the defendants who stabbed their classmate nearly a decade ago should be released from a mental institution. Morgan Geyser was 12 years old when she and Anissa Wire stabbed their friend Peyton Leutner. 
They claimed the reason for doing this was to appease the fictional character Slenderman. Both were found guilty of attempted homicide and sentenced to a mental health facility. Geyser wants to be granted a conditional release. A psychologist testified that she believes Geyser still presents a risk to herself or others. But the defense argued that she is ready to be released since the conditional release would happen slowly. The con uh, hearing will continue this morning. To Milwaukee now where friends and family are searching for answers to the whereabouts of 19 year old, a uh, 19 year old woman who went missing last week. Friends and family of Shade Robinson last saw her 10 days ago. Her disappearance comes the same week as investigators found a human leg in a Milwaukee County Park. Uh, meantime, a man being held in connection with the human remains appeared in court yesterday. Authorities had not officially connected the body parts to Robinson, but the family of Shade Robinson was in court. Always laughing, smiling, making the customers feel like welcomed and the employees welcomed and just like always lit up the room. She is somebody that is very special, you know, and I hope we can find some answers for her. Despite not being charged, the man is being held by the court for probable cause he committed a crime. The court granted a request by the prosecution to extend the probable cause hold for 72 hours. Time is 6.06. The sex, second attempt to uh, re recall Assembly Speaker Robin Voss has officially failed. That's according to the findings of the Wisconsin Elections Commission. In its final review of the attempt, it found the organizers failed to gather enough signatures to trigger a recall election. The effort was further complicated by concerns over which district maps would be used for the recall. But the staff review found that it didn't matter which maps were used because organizers did not have enough signatures for either. Former President Donald Trump has backed off his efforts on the recall. He has resumed his criticisms of Voss, though, over failing to impeach elections official Megan Wolf. Your internet bill might go up 16 to $40 next month and even more after that. That's if you're, in, you're one of the nearly two, uh, 23 million American households that get subsidies through the Affordable Connectivity Program. It's winding down. Some lawmakers are increasing their push, though, to refund it. Amy Kiley reports the FCC has a new requirement to help you with those costs. The most successful internet affordability program in our nation's history will soon run out of money unless Congress acts. New efforts are underway to stop internet prices from surging next month for nearly 23 million American households. The Affordable Connectivity Program is almost out of money. Now the FCC is set to cut subsidies by more than half in May. Without new funding later, they'll be gone. From education, to employment, to scheduling health care appointments, to access to health services. Everyone deserves affordable internet access. Some lawmakers are increasing their push to keep funding the program. A bipartisan Senate bill to give it $7 billion has five co-sponsors after two joined yesterday. A House plan has majority support in the chamber, but it's unclear if Speaker Mike Johnson will bring it to the floor. House Republicans are pushing to rein in government spending, and the program is left over from the pandemic. High-speed internet isn't a luxury anymore. It's an absolute necessity. The Biden administration is trying to help consumers understand provider fees with a new regulation unveiled yesterday. A lot of times there's hidden fees, things like data caps or throttling, or you have to pay more for data. The FCC now requires Internet providers to use what looks like a nutrition label. It shows plan details like fees and services. The hope is that if it's more transparent, you can make a better choice as a consumer. I'm Amy Kiley reporting. And your internet bill may not be the only one going up. Yeah, the price of a postage stamp could rise as well in the next few months. The U.S. Postal Service filed a notice with the Postal Regulatory Commission. The post office is recommending raising the price of first-class mail forever stamps from 68 cents to 73 cents. Stamp prices already increased this year back in January. If the change is approved, it would take effect on July 14th. Well, if you plan on riding with Uber soon, look out for some new safety options. The Rideshare Service says it's added four new safety features to the app. There is a new pin verification, giving riders the option to get a four-digit code to make sure that they're getting in the correct car. There's also the ride check feature that allows you to know if a driver goes off course, stops unexpectedly, or ends a trip early. An audio recording feature in the app can now record your trip 
and store the encrypted audio on your phone. It's not accessible to the driver or Ubers unless an incident is reported to Uber and then the company can access it. Riders can also share their trip with a family or friend for an added layer of protection. All right, we are looking at some clouds that have been spreading into the area. We're talking about some rain showers that will be developing later today, but a warm-up in store for the weekend. The first warm forecast just ahead. And in your morning sports, the latest on the injury to Giannis Antetokounmpo. How much time is he going to miss, and how did the Bucks do last night without him? That's still ahead. You're watching News 3 Now This Morning, brought to you by Toyota. Dear Sharp Curves, don't spin your wheels. Toyota has more all-wheel drive sedans than any other brand. So you can bet your bottom dollar that we're sharper than ever. Because we got traction, baby. Yours, Toyota Sedans. Right now, you can get 2.99% APR for 60 months on a new 2024 Toyota Camry. Find yours at Toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. Make entertaining and enjoying your home extraordinary with the luxurious look of Pella. At Pella, we see windows differently with the highest energy efficient products and range of options that add long lasting value to your home. From sleek design, custom colors, and long lasting durability, getting the style and functionality you want has never been easier. Right now, get 0% interest for up to 36 months or no down payment, no interest, and no payments for up to 18 months. Visit PellaWI.com today. The one and only Madison Lighting Spring Sale is here. Save on all lighting, every ceiling fan, mirror, and all home decor. Save 15% on everyday low prices. Hurry, it all ends Monday at Madison Lighting. In this day and age, we spend way too much time scrolling. Instead, join us for some horseplay at the Midwest Horse Fair. Check out insane tricks, hundreds of horses, clinicians, amazing eats, and spectacular shopping. And entertainment like you've never seen, IRL. Sorry, ask your kids what IRL is. It's the great Midwest Horse Fair. Join us at the Alliant Energy Center in Madison, April 19th through the 21st. I'm Megan Tim, Director of Community Health at SSM Health. You may know us as healthcare providers, but we live here too. And as good neighbors, we know our community thrives when we take care of each other. That's why SSM Health and News 3 Now are sharing the keys to health. Watch for our expert information and advice on air, online, and at fun local events. Join SSM Health and News 3 Now, and together, we'll unlock a healthier community by taking time for kids. Are you certain this is going to work? Nothing to it. Are you for imprint certain? Certainty matters. Like the certainty of 4imprint, your home for high quality promotional gear, including exclusive items and brands they love. Printed perfectly and guaranteed to arrive on time. To wow your clients, nail your next event, or inspire your team, check out 4imprint.com. At Sarginians, we're flipping the floor buying experience. For nearly a century, we've been at the forefront of flooring trends. And now, we're stepping into a new era where technology meets style and decision making is effortless. Experience the future of flooring at Sarginians today. You're watching News 3 Now this morning, moving forward. Time is 6:13. Wisconsin hunters can now apply for this year's elk hunt. Residents can purchase an elk license application online through the Go Wild license portal or in person at a license sales agent. Uh, the application fee is $10 and is limited to one a person. New this year, though, the Black River Elk Range will be open to hunting for the first time since elk were reintroduced there to the state. Applicants are required to select between the Black River Elk Range or Calm Lake Elk Range when applying. If selected in the drawing, an elk hunting license costs $49. Winners will be notified by June. As temperatures begin to warm up, the monarch butterflies will soon be returning from their wintering grounds in Mexico. That's why the UW-Madison Arboretum is asking people for help in researching the creatures. The Monarch Larva Monitoring Project is looking for citizen scientists to sign up. Anyone involved would be watching for monarch caterpillars. The organization says it's a great way to reconnect with nature. 
they go out weekly monitoring in the summer season um, for us up here in Wisconsin. Um, includes going out and looking at the monarch um, host plant, milkweed, and counting the number of eggs and larvae or caterpillars that are on that plant. An online training session for the project is available next week on April 18th if you're interested. By signing up, you'll learn how to collect data on monarchs and their life cycles from start to finish. With warmer temps on the way, uh, we got the Madison, uh, excuse me, the uh, UW Madison Sunburst Terrace chairs coming back. 2,000 of the colorful chairs are coming back to the Memorial Union Terrace April 17th. In just six days, the return of the chairs coincides with a party later that night to celebrate the opening of the terrace. All right, time is 6.15. Let's send it outside to Kelly Slifka with your first warm weather. Hey, Kelly. Yeah, good morning, guys. Just have to get through the next couple of days, and then by this weekend, it's definitely going to be terrace weather, that is for sure. A lot of folks uh, getting outside, really enjoying some beautiful weather headed away this weekend. Uh, yesterday was beautiful. You almost got up to 70, but that's uh, changing now. We've got the storm system coming in from the south. It's been stuck over the southern tier of the United States for days on end, producing severe weather. Now it's bringing that shield of rain across the Ohio Valley, but we're on the northern fringe of that and actually uh, the rain the more steady rain is going to be staying to the south and east basically from Chicago and south and east of there but we can, uh, we are expecting some scattered showers to develop this afternoon right now Doppler track not picking up anything we had a few sprinkles over there toward La Crosse and Barocqua but those have uh, kind of dissipated but what we're watching are the uh, showers that are near Chicago and areas to the south and east uh, that will stay to our south and east as we'll just see some scattered showers a upper level disturbance coming in from the northwest will produce enough instability so as we get toward four five six o'clock some scattered showers out there nothing real heavy nothing real steady should be clearing out though by tomorrow afternoon. It's just going to be windy. So the chance of rain do ramp up after the noon hour, let's say one, two, three, four o'clock. And that's when we are expecting more uh, scattered showers to continue right through the evening hours. After midnight, the chances start to diminish. And by tomorrow, we're just talking about some windy conditions. So scattered showers today. Friday though, looks dry, but just windy. But that'll set us up for some really nice weather for the weekend. Close to 70 Saturday, likely well into the 70s by Sunday. We are expecting some winds. Noticing the winds are fairly calm or light going into the early afternoon, but as we get toward the rush hour, 5 o'clock, the dinner hour, 6 o'clock, expecting some gusty northwest winds. That's behind that cold front that will keep our temperatures uh, cooler. Uh, going into tomorrow. Those winds should gradually come down a little bit later on this evening. So the uh, cloudy skies will persist this morning. Maybe a sprinkle or two, but a better chance is between 1, 2 o'clock with some scattered showers. Nothing real heavy. Maybe a brief moderate shower passing through. Most of this will be light. And uh, this will continue right through the evening hours with scattered showers before starting to dissipate uh, by tomorrow morning. Noticing we do, do see some clearing temperatures in the 50s with that stiff northwest wind. Rainfall amounts will vary a lot. Some might not pick up hardly anything, maybe a few sprinkles while see some of the heavier bands off to the east in parts of Jefferson and Dodge County. Here in Madison, maybe a tenth, uh, maybe as much as a quarter of an inch, and that's all due to this system moving through. Looking at some cool weather for the next couple of days, but mild weather will uh, come in this weekend into early next week. In fact, we'll see temperatures well above average. Average high now is in the mid to upper 50s. Right now it's 42 in Madison, 46 in Janesville, 39 in Lone Rock. So our first warm forecast, dry tomorrow, just windy in the weekend. Looks beautiful, 68, 76 Sunday. Then we're talking about some active weather, showers and storms on and off Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. When Giannis went down Tuesday night, you felt that pit in your stomach and feared the worst. But the two-time MVP got the best-case scenario. His MRI confirmed that it's a left calf strain, not an Achilles injury. His timetable to return is TBD, but he will risk, miss the rest of the regular season. Final home game of the regular season for the Deer. Bucks hosting the Magic. Bobby Portis got the start, and Bobby Buckets was living up to his name. Check out this sequence in the first quarter from him. First, Portis hits the three, then going to get back on defense. And on defense, Portis going to come up with the steal and then going to slam it home on the other end. Game high, 30 points, nine rebounds, five steals, and three assists from him. Bucks win their second straight, 117 to 99. When Wisconsin football is at its best, the defense is usually one of the top units in the country. And leading the way are the Badger outside linebackers. This offseason, that room added a couple new faces in Leon Lowry and John Pius, two guys that have already made their mark this spring. What's brought this group together so fast is simple. They just want to get after the quarterback and be the reason UW wins games.
you know, what was that, 2017, where we went 12 and 0 or something like that. And, you know, the outside backers were that. You know, so I feel like we got to get back to get back to that standard of undefeated teams and the best defenses in the country that like we have been in the past. Like this position group has to rush rush the passer well, get to the quarterback, stop the run, and be physical and uh, just be the best players out on the field. I just want to win. So like, I just like feel like every time I step on the field, I feel like I'm I could be one of the best players on the field. Like I want to want bring this team a championship. The Packers will make league history when they kick off their season against the Eagles in Brazil as part of the NFL's 2024 international games. The game itself will be the first ever regular season game played in South America. Green Bay and Philly will open up week one on Friday, September 6th, exclusively on Peacock. Brewers and Reds a bit delayed because of the rain, but that did not slow down Christian Yelich in the batter's box. One on for Yelly in the top of the first and two gone. His fifth home run of the year puts the crew up 2-0. They'd never lose that lead. Brewers get the win 7-2, the final. And that's it for Morning Sports. Have a great day. Thanks, Zach. Still ahead, we've got more about the Packers' visit to Brazil this season. And coming up in our next half hour, we're bringing you the latest on the breaking news stories. Two of them in Dane County, one on Madison's north side, the other in Albion, where we're about to get an update from law enforcement. As we head to break, we'll take a look at gas prices. We're back after this. Call for action only on News 3 Now. We can all help fight climate change and battle rising food costs. With garden mats, we can all eliminate trips to the store and grow our own organic vegetables right in our backyard. Go to gardenmats.com. This is Kathy. She's about to see her dentist. She's afraid. Not because of the drill, but because of the bill. A big bill. But Kathy doesn't need to be afraid, and neither do you. Thanks to affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company. It's easy to get this coverage. Don't believe me? Call or go online for all the details. You could even have this free information kit. This isn't a discount plan or preventive only coverage. This is real dental insurance. It helps pay for over 400 procedures. That's a lot. I'm talking cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures. Bottom line, you'll have help paying for routine care and expensive major work. But if you want deductibles, forget it. There aren't any. No annual maximum either. Plus, you can see any dentist you want. Stop fearing the big bill. Start saving at the dentist. Call now or go to sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. Shop from the largest selection of Chevy trucks and SUVs in Wisconsin at Bergstrom Chevrolet. All with Bergstrom's negotiation-free upfront pricing, including our exclusive seven-day price protection and money-back guarantees. Stop in or shop and purchase at bergstromchevrolet.com. Save on new Champion windows during replacement window season. Now is the best time to buy new Champion windows. Because when you buy two, you get two free. If your windows are drafty, ugly, or broken, your home needs our windows. We design, build, install, and guarantee it for life. We have enough hands to help you every step of the way. I couldn't have said it better myself. Thanks. Buy two, get two won't last long. Call or schedule online at GetChampionWindows.com. Save always gives you more ways to save on top of our lower than low prices. And when you download the Pick and Save app, you can enjoy over $500 in savings every week with digital coupons and earn fuel points to save up to a dollar per gallon at the pump. With a Boost membership, you'll save even more with double fuel points and free delivery. Discover more ways to save big every day. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. We can all help fight climate change and battle rising food costs. With garden mats, we can all eliminate trips to the store and grow our own organic vegetables right in our backyard. Go to GardenMats.com. And hey, we're back sharing Gwen's morning with you of some crocus peeking up. Man, things have really greened up and brightened up out there, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, it just... It really turns your whole mood around if you're like me at right. least you know it's you walk out you see the green you see the flowers you see the blue skies i mean it's really starting to 
to look good out there and you know best time of the year and this weekend things are going to be looking beautiful yeah i got some really nice weather in the forecast and some rain you'll have to stick around for that so thanks quinn all right, Shane, what's trending this morning? All right, well, we just heard from Zach mentioned in sports that the Packers, of course, will be opening their season in Brazil. So here's some other information that you should know. The Packers and the Philadelphia Eagles will play in Arena Corinthians in Sao Paulo. This game will be happening Friday, Friday, September 6th, yeah, an NFL game on Friday night. So you're going to have to maybe decide between some high school football and your Packers. Now, the name of the stadium will be familiar to some soccer fans out there. It's the home stadium of the soccer team Sport Club Corinthians Paulista. It also hosted some matches back in the 2014 FIFA World Cup and some 2016 matches in the Olympics. Also, want to let you know here that uh, the game in our viewing area, you'll only be able to watch on Peacock. So. Yeah. Come early September, make sure you got your Peacock uh, subscription down. Maybe write a note, leave it on the fridge until September or get it taken care of now. There's a lot to watch on there too. Yeah, there apparently a lot of Packers fans. That's what you were in saying. In Brazil, uh, some 5 million estimated Packers fans. Who would have known? <laughs> Brazil, you believe that? Uh, in Sao Paulo, uh, a huge city. I mean, Absolutely. It's, it's, it's uh, 12 million people yeah. or so. Uh, biggest city, I believe, in uh, all of South America. Yeah, and you know, the NFL has really made a push the last few years to go global. We've yeah. seen games in London forever, but London and Germany, Mexico City, you know, they're really starting to push it. So the game continues to grow. Yeah, uh, exciting. It's, it it's is. A, what, a, what a crazy opportunity for the Packers. Absolutely. All right, we're going to get some updates on two breaking news stories from overnight when we return here on News 3 Now this morning. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Join Planet Fitness now and save almost 25% off your monthly membership. Get fitness that fits your budget with equipment for every workout and free fitness training, all in the judgment-free zone. Join today for $1 down at $10 a month. Cancel any time. Deal ends April 12th. Now is the best time to buy new Champion windows. Because when you buy two, you, you get, get two, two free. free. Hurry, Champion's buy two, get two free sale is for a limited time. That's a great deal. Thanks. Call 888-4-CHAMPION or schedule your free in-home estimate online today. The Friends of the Middleton Performing Arts Center present the Texas Tenors live in concert. Don't miss an exciting evening with the award-winning trio who are celebrating their 15th anniversary tour. One night only, Saturday, April 13th. Tickets on sale now at friendspac.org. Watch this. Witness what happens to this woman's bags under her eyes in an actual time lapse in just minutes. The problem will disappear before your eyes with a revolutionary topical formulation that works in just minutes, and the effects will last for hours. Over one million people are using this topical technique to visually reduce puffiness and bags, even fine lines and wrinkles on the face and forehead. Introducing Plexiderm. Jump on board and say yes to this amazing $14.95 Plexiderm trial. Order right now. We'll pay your shipping best areas that we found, unfortunately, which is probably the area that people we found were suffering the most, was from tax. Mm -hmm. And so by building this wealth optimization team, right, where we can bring in CFAs, CFPs, tax attorneys, CPAs, and really get to the heart of the matter of, you know, targeted, you know, risk institutionally managed portfolios to specialized indexing strategies to basically helping people make that transition from accumulation to distribution and understand that it's a whole nother game. You made a cow. Actually, it's a piggy bank. My inspiration to start saving. How about a more solid way to save? I'm listening. Well, BMO helps get your savings habit into shape with a cash reward every month you save. Cash, cash reward? And there's a cash bonus when you open a new checking account to get you started. Wow. Anything you can't do? Mugs. We've all seen what's happening at our border. President Biden and Senator Baldwin's open border policy has brought more than 10 million illegal immigrants into our country. That's double the population of Wisconsin. Our country was already struggling to provide housing and health care to our citizens. And tragically, we're losing over 100,000 Americans a year to the drugs that pour over our open border. Their policy is wrong. I'm Eric Hovde. I approve this message, and I'll work to fix this problem. 
Join Planet Fitness now and save almost 25% off your monthly membership. Get fitness that fits your budget with equipment for every workout and free fitness training, all in the judgment-free zone. Join today for $1 down and $10 a month. Cancel any time. Deal ends April 12th. This morning, we are covering two local breaking news stories from overnight. The first, a shooting turned homicide investigation here in Madison. The second, a standoff with law enforcement in a developing situation in the community of Albion. And we do have dry weather for now, but we do have some rain to the south and east and also some showers to the west. We can expect some showers later today. We'll track it for you coming up. Thanks for tuning in this morning, folks, to a busy Thursday morning. A couple breaking news stories in Albion. We're standing by to get some new information from authorities uh, after uh, there was a, a shelter in place order put in place by Dane County deputies yesterday evening and then a standoff uh, of a person holed up inside of a home last night. Uh, we're waiting for some developments from authorities there in the community to give us the latest. Uh, so we'll bring you that as soon as we can. Yeah, we're going to start, though, with a check on our forecast. We could have some rain in store today. Kelly Slifka is here with your first warm weather. Hey, Kelly. Yeah, good morning, guys. It is uh, quiet for now. We don't have any rain here, and I don't really expect much this morning. It really won't be until this afternoon. The widespread area of rain is from Chicago areas to the east, and that primarily will stay off to the east. But we do have a disturbance passing across Minnesota. That's going to move on in and enhance that uh, shower chance going into the afternoon hours. It's not going to be real steady or real heavy, but count on some wet weather for the afternoon hours into the evening hours. That should clear out by tomorrow, but it's going to be windy behind a front, uh, keeping our temperatures down a little bit from where they've been, but it won't last long. We're looking at 70s potentially this weekend and could be well in the 70s by Sunday. Right now, 42 at Madison, Marshall at 42, Edgerton right now at 45, Oregon 45, 41 in Middleton. So we'll look at mostly cloudy skies today. Temperatures getting close to 60, maybe a sprinkle or two at the noon hour, but the more uh, scattered activity will start to pop out as we get toward uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 o'clock, and that'll continue into the evening hours. Nothing, once again, nothing will rise widespread or steady or heavy, but temperatures will be backing off once we get that rain in there. But after a couple of cooler days, we're looking at those temperatures to really soar well above our average, which right now is 55. Noticing that mild weather continues into next week, but also the clash of air masses may also bring in some strong to potentially some severe weather by Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. We'll have to keep our eyes on that. Headed off to the bus stop, make sure you have the rain gear because I know it's not raining now, but headed home from work or school. We are looking at some rain showers to uh, spread through the area. We'll talk more about these shower chances and also that warm up for the weekend coming up. All right, Kelly, thank you. Back to our breaking news in Southern Dane County where law enforcement officials in Albion are at the scene of a barricaded home. The sheriff's office there says an armed suspect tried to flee from law enforcement. That person is barricaded in a home on Ramsey Road. SWAT and crisis negotiators are on scene. Earlier in the evening yesterday, the sheriff had warned people to stay inside. The officers said a woman with a handgun and a man with a rifle ran away from police on Washington Road. Part of U.S. Highway 51 was closed until early this morning. We are awaiting a press conference this morning to get more information. We do have a crew on scene as we stand by to wait for more information from law officials. Also breaking overnight in Madison, police are now investigating yesterday evening shooting as a homicide. That shooting happened around 630 on Northport Drive near Packers Avenue. First responders rushed the victim to the hospital who died overnight. Police are now investigating this shooting as a homicide. Police have not arrested the shooter, though. They have identified a person of interest. They won't provide any details about that person, though. The investigation is still ongoing. MPD says they'll provide some more information at some point today. Right now, they are asking anyone with information about the shooting to contact Crime Stoppers. News 3 now brought you these stories as they were happening last night. We'll continue to provide you updates on the Madison homicide and the situation in Albion throughout the day, so stay informed with the Channel 3000 mobile app. 633, take a look at your screen here. This is 35-year-old Andrea Mendoza. She is missing from the Jefferson County Jail. Sheriff's Office there says Mendoza left the jail Monday for a job interview. She never showed up to that interview and did not return to the jail either. The Sheriff's Office says she has ties to the city of Watertown. Mendoza had Huber privileges, meaning she could leave jail for work. She is serving time for credit card fraud. To campaign 2024 now, Republican U.S. Senate candidate Eric Hubdy is clarifying his stance on abortion. Hubdy's running for uh, U.S. Senate against Senator Tammy Baldwin and asked about his stance on abortion at an event in Milwaukee. Here's what he had to say. I believe in exceptions. 
I believe in the beauty of life. I think women early on in a pregnancy should have a right to make a choice. But I think there is a point where once a baby can be born healthy and alive, that's unconscionable that that baby could be terminated. As for access to contraceptives, Hovde says that he believes women should have access to birth control. Meanwhile, Senator Baldwin is one of several Democratic senators calling for a national protection on abortion. Now, this all comes about a week after Hovde received the endorsement of former President Donald Trump. Trump's previously taken credit for the Supreme Court ruling that overturned Roe v. Wade. But just this week, Trump appears to be shifting his position on abortion. The states will determine by vote or legislation or perhaps both and whatever they decide must be the law. Asked just yesterday whether he'd sign a national abortion ban, Trump said no. That goes back on a promise Trump made previously. All of this in the wake of a ruling from the Arizona Supreme Court that bans nearly all abortions in the state. That ruling allowing the state's 1864 ban to be enforced. That ban doesn't provide exceptions for rape or incest, only if the mother's life is at risk. Arizona Democratic Governor Katie Hobbs is now asking the legislature to repeal the law. In the meantime, doctors across the state aren't sure what to do. Now you have people who are scared to do their job. It's not just abortion providers. We're talking about your ER physician who now has a patient in front of them who is bleeding into their abdomen. Right now, abortion rights advocates in Arizona are pushing for a November ballot initiative to protect the procedure. As for the candidate's reaction to that ruling, former President Trump says Arizona went too far. President Biden is condemning the court's decision in Arizona and blaming the Trump campaign, noting that Arizona's Supreme Court cited the Dobbs decision 22 times in its own ruling. Just days ago, Trump took credit for overturning Roe v. Wade, saying that he was proudly responsible for it. A statement from the Biden campaign reads in part, Trump lies constantly about everything, but has one track record, banning abortion every chance he gets. 636 now, we are getting insights into how the EPA's new PFAS regulations will affect Wisconsinites. Clean Wisconsin says the new standards will protect millions of Wisconsinites who get their water from public systems. Those rules will better the quality of water for about 355,000 people who are served by public water systems that don't meet the new standards. But for families who get their water from private wells, the new drinking water standards do not apply. The state has to regulate that. And right now, there are no standards for groundwater. Clean Wisconsin is calling for a new effort from legislators to keep those rural water resources clean. To more local news now, Sun Prairie is making Midwestern history for its environmental work. The city, the first in the Midwest to receive a platinum community designation. The designation is reserved for cities which have demonstrated high impact solutions to advance solar energy. The director of Dane County's Office of Energy and Climate Change says she hopes the designation will encourage other cities in the county to get on board with renewables. I think a lot of our local governments want to make these things happen, but SoulSmart kind of gives us a recipe for, oh, don't remember, remember to think about this. Stucks. And that's really our vision is that sort of, that, that everywhere in Dane County, these things are easy and consistent to do. Kuhn says Sun Prairie's leadership towards clean energy will undoubtedly help other areas make the same choices. Today, we will hear from MMSD's new superintendent, Dr. Joe Gothard. Gothard will be speaking with members of the press later today. Before that, let's take a look at his track record. Gothard was named MMSD's next superintendent back in February. The Madison native and MMSD alum got his doctorate from Edgewood. He currently serves on the school's board of trustees. He was previously a member of the Lincoln Elementary School staff. His latest role has been serving as St. Paul Public School Superintendent in Minnesota. We now know the lineup for the Wisconsin State Fair. Here's a look at some of the schedule here. Hip Hop Stars TLC will perform with singer Jordan Sparks on Friday and August on August 2nd. On August 4th, country duo the Brothers Osborne will also play. Comedian Charlie Barons will do a set on Thursday, August 8th. To see the full list of performances, you can find this story up on channel3000.com. We also know where the Packers are going to play their first game of the next season. That's right. Week one, they will face off against the Philadelphia Eagles in Sao Paulo, Brazil. The Eagles will get to be the home team. It's the league's first ever game in South America. It will be in Corinthian Stadium, which can seat about 49,000 people. And worth noting, if you want to watch here in our viewing area, 
got to do so on Peacock. Yeah, ex exclusively streaming that. Uh, it's estimated that there are about 5 million Packers fans in Crazy. Brazil. That's unbelievable. That's wild. Uh, uh, well, big step for the NFL to get some more global exposure here. Yeah, they've been, of course, in Europe. They were in Mexico City last year. So now down to Brazil. Going to be and, cool. And the Packers don't have to spend a home game playing in Brazil. They're going to be the away team. Right. So you still get all the games at Lambo this go. year. The consolation prize. <laughs> all right. Hey, uh, coming up after the break... Uh, we're talking about the Dane County Farmers Market as it returns for this season. Yeah, and it looks like beautiful weather going into the weekend for the uh, Farmers Market. We just have to get through today. We do have some showers in our forecast coming this afternoon. We'll track it for you in the first warm forecast just ahead. And coming up, you can't tell from this view here, but the Capitol Dome is undergoing some maintenance. You can meet the faces behind all of it when we come back. Habitat homes are not free. They're built and bought by hardworking families just like yours. Families with jobs, dreams, and a strong determination to create a better future. With stable homes, they can invest more in their health, education, community, and beyond. Certain this is gonna work? Nothing to it. For imprint certain? Certainty matters. For imprint is your home for promo gear to wow clients and inspire your team. Check out forimprint.com. For imprint for certain. Stanton Optical is the best value in eye care. We do the math, people. For $79, you get all this. That costs over $200 at Walmart, over $300 at LensCrafters, and over $200 at America's Best. When it comes to value, Stanton Optical is the top bird. With the best service, quality, and prices, Stanton Optical is the best value in eye care. To help you remember, I made this cheer. The value, A, awesome value, L, lots of value, you get two pairs of free eye exam and anti-glare lenses for only $79. Suffering with neck pain, back pain, or sciatica due to disc related conditions? You may have tried drugs, spinal injections, or physical therapy just to find out it didn't help. You're not alone. The problem is that some of those treatments focus on symptom relief but may not address the underlying disc problem. As a result of injury or overuse, the discs may bulge, herniate, or degenerate over time. Our therapies are highly successful and reduce pain associated with those conditions and may help you avoid neck or back surgery. At Midwest Spine and Nerve Center, we'll design a treatment program using the latest in pain relieving therapies, including non-surgical spine decompression, Pro Adjuster 360 computerized technology, laser therapy, and more. Visit our website or call to schedule a complimentary consultation. Tonight at 10, he spent a lifetime doing something good. And how old are you? 99 plus. <sighs> so you'd better believe he has stories to tell. This should be fun. I'll tag along with this amazing local veteran and retired surgeon. How's everybody today? Okay? As he reveals special memories, priceless life lessons, and what we can all do to make his greatest wish come true. Do something good tonight on News 3 Now at 10. News 3 Now this morning, moving forward. Good Thursday morning, meteorologist Kelly Slifka out on the uh, patio. We just have uh, cloudy skies right now across uh, Madison. No uh, rain here locally, and I don't really expect a whole lot until we get into the afternoon hours, and even then it's going to be fairly scattered and light, just not as beautiful as what we had yesterday. This area of low pressure right now just sitting over St. Louis, it's going to track to the north and east, and the broader area of rain, the more widespread rain, is going to be Chicago over to Indianapolis, Columbus, and Cleveland, and Cincinnati. We'll expect some sh showers. We have some showers behind this week a cold front that'll be passing in but right now southern wisconsin not seeing any showers we had a couple of sprinkles there in lacrosse earlier you see that area of rain in southern minnesota that's what will enhance some of the shower chances going into the afternoon hours so we're not looking at widespread rains and 
Actually, all this should be out of here by Friday. Uh, and then we're talking about some warm temperatures. The winds will be shifting around to the south as we go into the upcoming weekend. Actually looking just about perfect with lots of sunshine both Saturday and Sunday. All right, we do have some showers in our forecast today. And we're in that spring uh, weather season now when we do have the potential of seeing some severe weather. We're going to have to watch next week. There's a potential of seeing some severe storms. But today we do have a tornado drill. We'll see, hear the sirens likely. They'll issue a test tornado warning for southern Wisconsin. This will be at 145. They'll do one test then, then the second test comes in at 645. So even though there might be some showers out there, don't let that scare you. It will not likely be any kind of severe weather, but they may actually run those uh, sirens uh, both uh, two times today at 145 and again at 645. Right now we just have cloudy skies expecting the high up to a 60. Our average now is 55. The sun is up and will not be setting until 736. So we do have some scattered showers uh, this afternoon. Also tonight, it's going to be dry tomorrow, but also windy. But then we warm up nicely 70, close to 70 on Saturday, well into the 70s, it looks like, by Sunday. Beautiful photo of either the sunrise or sunset. These are some alto cumulus clouds and the sun either coming up or going down. So we created this beautiful sky uh, in Prairie du Sac. Thanks, Jolene, for sending in that photo. All right, the winds this morning are not too bad. They're going to be fairly light. There's going to be a time as we get toward the rush hour, about 5, 6 o'clock, that the winds will pick up. This is behind the front. Once again, these winds will pick up fairly quickly, coming in out of the northwest at about uh, uh, 10 to 20 miles per hour. And that will continue this evening, and that will keep our temperatures rather cool going into uh, tomorrow. So cloudy skies this morning, maybe a sprinkle toward the noon hour. I don't expect much here locally. Really won't be until 1, 2, 3 o'clock. We'll start to see some of these scattered showers develop. Nothing real heavy, generally light, maybe a moderate shower passing through at least temporarily. And then as we get some of that rain in, we'll get it close to 60 at the noon hour. Then temperatures fall back uh, through the 50s as that cold front passes through and brings us some cooler weather. Still can't uh, rule out some showers even through the overnight period. Most of this will be out of here by tomorrow morning. We'll get into some sunshine. Temperatures uh, in the 50s and it's also going to be windy tomorrow. And as far as rainfall amounts varying quite a bit, most locations maybe a tenth of an inch. Some locations could be talking about a quarter, maybe an isolated half inch amount. 42 right now in Madison, 46 in Janesville, then across Dane County is 43 in Sauk City and also Wanakee, 45 in Sun Prairie. Our first warm forecast brings in the uh, scattered showers today, but it clears up tomorrow. It's just going to be windy, kind of that transition. Then we really warm up, 68 Saturday, 76 on Sunday. Beautiful weekend headed our way. Enjoy it because we have more activity next week. Scattered showers and some thunderstorms, something we'll have to watch out for. Uh, remains to be seen whether or not we'll issue some alert days because of the severe weather threat. Just a little bit too early to tell next week. But we do cool down a little bit by next Friday going to the following weekend. All right, Kelly, thank you. Well, the city of Madison is no longer accepting volunteers for its new State Street painting project. After an overwhelming response, the city is closing applications. As of this morning, more than 600 people have signed up to leave their mark on State Street. The city is planning a painting project to go along with the test of the State Street pedestrian mall experience. Now the city is releasing plans for how the volunteers will help. They will be split up between two shifts on Sunday, April 21st. The first group will begin at 10 and paint until 1. The second group will start at noon and paint until 3. When you're at the farmer's market this weekend and this summer, you'll notice part of the Capitol's observation deck closed off. That's because crews are providing maintenance to the dome. Our Catherine Merck takes us to the tallest building in the city to show us the people behind the project. They say you never really get to know someone until you look at things from their point of view. For this job at the state capitol, it might be one of the more unique perspectives to understand. You can see both of the lakes and uh, get a great view of the city. When working on maintenance at the Wisconsin State Capitol, Steve Walker says it can be a little bit nerve-wracking when on assignment this high up. Uh, when I first started, we have four flagpoles, one on each wing uh, of the Capitol. I assisted the painter in refinishing those, so uh, that got me scrambling up some scaffolding. Uh, took a while to get my sea legs. For the current project at the Capitol, the reason for the bird's eye view is for the birds. Literally, not figuratively. This project is meant to replace the existing bird netting and also clean our Bethel granite along the stone here. The last time the netting was replaced was back in 2000. The Department of Administration is working with an outside contractor for the routine polish of the People's House. You have to uphold the appearance of this historic building. The crews take themselves to new heights for their career. 
which might be scary to some. Fear of heights is is not uh, conducive to a career in maintenance. You had people looking up and pointing at you all the time. From Steve Walker's perspective, it's always a new adventure. The nice view is just an added perk of keeping this beloved building in pristine condition. Myself and the people I'll work with take a lot of pride in working at this building because, I mean, it is the most iconic building in the city, if not the state. So uh, every day we come in, we're all very aware of that. About a quarter of the observation deck will open back up to the public on May 4th, and then the scaffolding will come down when the project is expected to be completed in the fall of this year. Reporting in Madison, I'm Catherine Merck, News 3 Now. All right, we have an update to our breaking news that this morning that we have been following in the community of Albion, where officials are on scene of a barricaded home. Yeah, the sheriff's office there says an armed suspect tried to flee law enforcement that person is barricaded in a home on Ramsey Road. Uh, so now those authorities in Dubuque County, Iowa, are saying that this person is a suspect in a homicide investigation in Vare County. There are also a couple of children involved, uh, a 13-year-old uh, who has also been pronounced uh, dead uh, after uh, a police pursuit uh, here in the state. Um, there is also a, a small child, a three-year-old who is involved, who has been dropped off at uh, another residence. Uh, and we're not sure exactly how that person is doing. But again, uh, the standoff in Albion that we've been covering since last night, uh, according to the Dubuque County Sheriff's Office uh, in Iowa, uh, that person is a suspect in a homicide of a female uh, that was located deceased uh, when deputies arrived uh, to start their investigation there. We will continue to provide an update here as we learn more throughout the morning. So stay with us here at News 3 Now. Yeah, we are waiting a news conference from authorities here in Dane County uh, that we will update you on when we get that new information. Morning Sprint is coming up next. Sponsored by Three Bears Resort, Indoor Water Park and Conference Center in Warrens, Wisconsin. My name is Jack Frank. I'm a retired paper mill worker in the valley here and I work for Copas and Bus part-time on the side. I've had my own route now here for the last three, four years, and the kids on it are great. Flexible hours, they work with you in many different ways. If you've got something going, they, they, they accommodate you or they try to get somebody to run your road. Copas and Street, you decent. You know, all the years I worked here, it's a great place to work. with tons of vehicles under $14,995 or $255 per month. That's right, jump into spring savings with the best selection of cars and SUVs starting at $14,995 or $255 per month. Govin Cars has been family owned and operated for over 50 years. So just ask for me, Crystal the Pistol Govin. Go to Govin Cars East or West. You gotta go to Govin. GovinCars.com I won't you. Yeah. <sighs> Want fresh air. Uh, hun. You need the experts. The home renewal experts at Belco will make your project a breeze with free installation on windows, siding, doors, and roofing. Plus, no interest for six years. Free installation won't last long. Hurry. Call now. Call 866 for Belco. Who isn't ready for spring and up to 50% off list? It's the spring home sale and big deals are everywhere at Slumberland Furniture. Like this trending comfy sectional for just $15.95 or update your living room for just $4.75. Spring into a comfy Lazy Boy recliner for just $3.98. You'll find great deals in every department at up to 50% off list, including this cool to the touch mattress. Plus, pay no interest for three years at our big spring home sale now at Slumberland. To everyone who enjoys a feel-good meal, we're crafting one for you, Wisconsin style. We're talking handcrafted, cooked to order, scooped to perfection goodness. More like greatness. <laughs> a snuggle up in the booth, share a bite kind of meal. A fill you up, heart and soul kind of meal. Come treat someone you love to a meal they're sure to love. One always served with a smile. That comes from the heart. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome to the when you need new flooring, you'll want quality materials, some design advice, and the best installers you can find. At H&R Carpets and Flooring, we deliver floors that look beautiful too. On sale now at H&R Carpets and Flooring, Wanakee. 
When you donate furniture, cabinets, and appliances to Habitat Restore, you make an impact on neighbors in your community. Profits generated from Restore sales help provide safe and secure housing for hardworking families across Dane County. Donate to make a difference today. Get your tickets before they're gone. Visit MidwestHorseFair.com. 6.54, time for the morning sprint. We start with a major update to our breaking news in Albion this morning, where police are involved in a standoff with someone in a home. Authorities in Dubuque County, Iowa, say this person is a suspect in a homicide investigation there. Iowa authorities say the person inside the home in Albion was involved in a police chase, and when that ended, they later found a 13-year-old dead. A five-month-old was turned over to a random residence here in Wisconsin. We're waiting for an update from Dane County authorities and we'll bring you that online and on air as soon as we can. Also breaking overnight in Madison, police are investigating a deadly shooting. It happened on the north side last night. The victim died at the hospital. MPD says the shooting was targeted. Police have identified a person of interest, but have not made any arrests. In Janesville, a man is in custody after a lengthy standoff with SWAT. Authorities say a man had threatened a family member with a gun. He then barricaded himself inside a home on Excalibur Drive. He surrendered after a back and forth exchange and went to jail. Police say he's facing a number of charges. A uh, hearing continues this morning for the Wisconsin woman convicted of stabbing her classmate 10 years ago. Now 21-year-old Morgan Geyser was stabbed, uh, was 12 at the time. She stabbed her friend. Uh, to appease the fictional character Slender Man. Guys are spending time in a mental health facility for the attempted homicide. She wants to be granted a conditional release. Another attempt to recall Republican Assembly Speaker Robin Voss is dead. The state's Elections Commission found organizers from the Recall Voss Group failed to secure the number of signatures needed to trigger a recall. No word yet from Voss or the group trying to recall him. Good morning, coming up on uh, 7 o'clock on a cloudy and mild start to the morning. Temperatures in the 40s, uh, generally dry this morning, maybe a sprinkle toward the noon hours. We get close to 60. Between 1, 2, 3 o'clock, we can expect some scattered showers and temperatures will actually fall through the 50s with some of that rain spreading through the area. Otherwise, we'll look at temperatures near 60 today before some of the rain spreads into the area with windy conditions, but dry weather tomorrow. Beautiful weather for the weekend, upper 60s and 70s. All right, we're back with another news and weather update in 30 minutes.